Prince Frederick wants him silenced. You should have stopped him, Karlstad. Forbidden him. Forbidden him, Spalatin? To teach theology? <laughs> he undermines the prince. Come on, there is no clear teaching on relics. When I became a monk, I believed the monk's cow would make me holy. Was I an arrogant fool? Now they've made me a doctor of divinity, and I'm tempted to believe that this scholar's robe will make me wise. <laughs> well, God once spoke through the mouth of an ass, and perhaps he's about to do so again. But I'll tell you straight what I think. Who here has been to Rome? Did you buy an indulgence? No. I did. For a silver florin, I freed my grandfather from purgatory. For twice that, I could have sprung grandma and uncle Marcus too, but, but I didn't have the funds, so they had to stay in the hot place. As for myself, the priests assured me that by gazing at sacred relics, I could cut down my time in purgatory. Luckily for me, Rome had enough nails from the Holy Cross to shoe every horse in Saxony. <laughs> but there are relics elsewhere in Christendom. Eighteen out of twelve apostles are buried in Spain. <laughs> and yet here in Wittenberg, we have the pick of the crop. Bread from the Last Supper. Milk from the Virgin's breast. A form that pierced Christ's brow on Calvary and 19,000 other bits of sacred bone. All authenticated sacred relics. Even John Tetzel himself. Inquisitor of Poland and Saxony. Seller of indulgences extraordinary. Connoisseur of relics envies our collection. <laughs> to possess them for a single night, he would willingly surrender five years of his earthly life. <laughs> or 500 years in purgatory.